or cat set valve. Or cat set valve. Or cat set valve. G'day you lot, I'm back! First of all, congratulations all round. Kieran, well done on your thesis. We finally have a master's degree in the family. If you get the time, I'd love to see the presentation. I don't think we should have a blacklist of things we can't talk about, but nor do I see any reason to rant about politics or religion. The Vlogbrothers do some really good and informative episodes on things like healthcare or the situation in Ukraine and Syria, but they don't have a bias towards any party. Simply the facts and only one current affair, not about the party in general. Frequency of videos. The one video each week sounds sensible. That's enough to keep it exciting, and it allows us to avoid punishments. Unless we're a whole week late. So Jono, you're next week. Okay, my life. Rachel and I just got back from Cuba, as you know. We had an amazing time. We were staying at a hotel 25 minutes out of Havana, in Santa Maria del Mar. We would spend the morning swimming at the postcard beach, and the afternoons in Havana, exploring the old town. I touched one of the Soviet missiles that almost started World War III, and the wing of a U-2 spy plane they shot down. I had a nap in the hotel where the revolutionaries set up base during the takeover of Havana, and stood atop the walls of a gigantic fort where the Spanish ruled for over 300 years. I also met Anna, who took me to a much less grand part of Havana to see Lalo. Anna sends all her very best and warmest regards, and was excited for you, Jonna, to see how much she's improved her motorcycle skills. The downside was the lying and the harassment of the tourist industry to get at our money. It was relentless and exhausting. It's amazing how easily we can forget to treat others as humans when there's money involved. I've no doubt it was a hundred times worse for them when the Spanish and the US were trying to turn the whole country into money for themselves, but it certainly gave us an insight into how it feels to be seen as a commodity. Future. I have a week and a bit left in Canada. After that I'm flying to Friedrichshafen to start an internship with Astrium, developing fluid physical payloads for the International Space Station. What does that mean? Well, I wasn't really sure either, but after I got the job, I figured I should find out. One of the largest areas of research aboard the ISS right now is fluid physics. Humans have a pretty good understanding of fluid physics. We thought. At least here on Earth we do. Thanks to our knowledge of how fluids react, we can make things like aeroplanes and hydroelectric power plants and rain chains. But it turns out, in the absence of gravity, all bets are off. Things act completely differently in space, so we're doing a bunch of experiments just to see how differently. Maybe then we can use it to our advantage to make super strong materials or super compact electronics. The team I'll be working with takes orders from the European Space Agency. They'll say, we want to know what happens to coffee in space. Or, what are the tensile properties of a gelatin-based hydrocolloid under the influence of shear force in microgravity? Astrium then designs and manufactures an experiment chamber to test that and sends it up to the ISS. So, we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, since I've had some spare time over here, I've started my honours thesis for RMIT. I'm working on a mind-controlled UAV. Neurosky is a company that develops electroencephalography devices. Until recently, they've been huge bulky machines that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Neurosky has had a number of breakthroughs lately that have enabled them to produce a simple, single electrode unit for under $100 that can measure delta through to gamma waves at 96% the accuracy of research grade machines. Over the next 10 months, I'm going to try and use one of those to control the roll axis of a small UAV. Jono, I'll see you in a week. Kieran, I'll see you in two weeks. In person. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye. Electroencephalography. 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 Electroencephalography.